we meet again so in this video we are going to learn about there is and there are in this video we will learn about number one there is number two there are and number three let's practice to test your understanding about this topic so let's start introduction When do we use there is or there are? Firstly, we use there is or there are when we refer to someone or something that exists. In other words, there is and there are are used when we refer to the existence or presence of someone or something. Number 1. There is a bear. The bear exists. We can see the bear. Example number two. There are two bears. The bears exist. And we can see the bears. We must always remember that the noun comes later. After there is or there are. So for example, for there is, there is a bear. So, a bear is a noun. For there are, in this picture, there are two bears. So, two bears are noun. There is. There is or there's. There is can also be used as there's. There's is actually a contraction for there is. Number one, how to use there is. There is plus a singular noun. There is is used with a singular noun. For example, there is plus a or an and a singular noun. Or we can also use there is plus one plus a singular noun. For there is plus a or an plus a singular noun, the examples are there is a cupcake. Secondly, there is an apple. Secondly, for there is plus one plus a singular noun, the examples are there is one fish. And the other one is there is one banana. Let us look at situation 1. So in this picture, there is one cake on the table. There is one candle on the cake. There is a toddler on the high chair. For situation number 2, we can see that there is one girl in the room. There is a book on the desk and there is one chair near the desk. Secondly, there is can also be used with uncountable nouns. So, do you still remember what is the meaning of uncountable nouns? Uncountable nouns refer to things that cannot be counted. For example, sand, sugar, water, oil, hair, or butter. So, there is is used with uncountable nouns. For example, there is plus uncountable nouns or there is plus quantifiers such as little, some, a lot of, plus uncountable nouns. Let us look at some examples for there is plus uncountable nouns as well as there is plus a little or some or a lot of plus uncountable nouns. So in this picture, there is snow on the branches. We can also say there is a little snow on the branches. Next, in this picture, we can see that there is water in the bottle. We can also say there is a lot of water in the bottle. So, the next example for there is plus uncountable nouns as well as there is plus a little or some or a lot of plus uncountable nouns 
In this picture, we can see that there is coffee in the cup. We can also say there is some coffee in the cup. There are. There are plus a plural noun. There are is used with a plural noun, meaning that there is more than one. For example, there are plus a plural noun or there are plus quantifiers such as a few or several or some or many or a lot of plus a plural noun. Okay, now let us look at the first example for there are plus a plural noun as well as there are plus a few or several or some or many or a lot of plus a plural noun. So in this clip, there are three fish in the fish bowl. We can also say there are a few fish in the fish bowl or there are some fish in the fish bowl. For the next example, there are four men in the boat and we can also say there are several men in the boat or there are some men in the boat. Okay, the next example. So in this clip, we can see that there are nine candles on the cake. We can say there are many candles on the cake or there are a lot of candles on the cake. Let's practice. Let us test your understanding on this topic. So fill in the blanks with there is or there are. So look at the picture. We can see a rainbow. We can see some trees. We can see houses, a tent, butterflies, bees and pandas. So question number one. A rainbow. A rainbow. There is or there are. One only, right? So the answer is there is. Okay, question number two. One big tree. How many? Only one, right? So the answer is there is. So there is one big tree. The next one, question number three. Two houses. So more than one. So it should be there are. There are two houses. Question number four. Four pandas. So more than one, right? So the answer is yes, there are. There are four pandas. Question number five. A lot of butterflies. A lot of meaning that there is more than one. So the answer is yes, there are. There are a lot of butterflies. The last question. Several small trees. Several means there is more than one. So the answer should be there are. So the answer is there are several small trees. We have come to the end of our video. In view of the COVID-19 pandemic right now, if you are going outside, please do not forget to wear your mask and please sanitize. But it is preferable if you wash your hands always. So please take care, be safe wherever you are and love your family and yourself. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.